Welcome back to match one. This is Old Man Pool. Uh, we have won the dice roll. We are going to go first. Uh, this hand looks great. We've got a Weaver of Turn Friends. We're just a little bit slow, but we can play a Colossal Feed turn four, and that's always going to be pretty good. Let's go ahead and keep. And hopefully we just don't get our face rocked by a red green. Oh, yeah. Or a red white, rather. All right. So we could consider cycling the Drake, but I don't really like it here. We're going to have a play next turn, um, then play the following turn, and playing Drake seems pretty good too. My opponent's got two green cards, so he's unlikely to be able to deal with, with the Weaver here. This is probably one of the best cards in our deck. We really would have liked to get a second one. On the other hand, my opponent can't interact with it immediately, or at least he didn't. Um... I guess, is there anything that's really worth leaving up? I guess green has the plus one plus, or plus two plus two, because I should represent that. All right, Colossal Speed's a big one. We're just gonna play a lot of those, hopefully kill off my opponent with them. Giant Spider, yeah, that's not as good as Colossal Speed. Hood Brawler I like as well. We have seven mana here. Um, i go ahead and swing with Colossal Speed. Another Colossipede. <laughs> yeah, it turns out big stuff dot deck is pretty good if your opponent doesn't have any early plays. Although on the other hand, most decks are pretty good if your opponent doesn't play something before turn four. Okay, uh, we can play a Greater Sandworm. We can also play a Synchronized Strike and the Hooded Brawler. I think we attack with both Colossipedes. And can I strike? We're actually not going to drop the sandworm immediately. Uh, getting to kill off his Colossipede is probably close to game over. That was an insane draw. No blocks. Wow. Uh, we almost can kill my opponent. Not quite. Take him to one. That's crazy. Uh, he's secretly running Dusk to Dawn. I don't know. Alright, well, Greer Sandworm seems pretty good. My opponent's gonna be hard pressed to not die this next turn. Well, I guess he can walk, walk, jump, jump. It's just gonna be a bad turn for him, probably. Oh, okay, that's why. That's reasonable. So he's gonna kill off a Colossipede and get pretty big. We're still gonna hit my opponent pretty hard. He's got to chump the Greater Sandworm with it, which is going to feel a little bit sad. That was a good play, though. That would make sense why he didn't block. Yeah, we had like the perfect draw for a ramp deck. Okay. One ramp creature and a bunch of big stuff. So we've got eight here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and swing. I guess he has to block both of these, so I think we're actually okay attacking with the Weaver, but I don't think we want to. I think we want to Play Drake and something else. So they'll get in here. Yep, that's got a block like that. All right, and punk seeds. Yeah, we had a like I said, almost perfect draw. My point was a little bit slow there. Looks like he's also playing big fatties, um, which means that maybe we can afford to. Be even more greedy with our mana? Is that even a thing? I think Essence Scattered gets better. Um, Talk Crop Skirmisher gets worse. So does the Bitter Blade Warrior. He may have just not hit early stuff, though, too. Um, yeah, I don't know how, how dirtily he is. I think we're just going to keep it like this for now. And yeah, maybe add a slow draw. If we see another slow draw and we do end up having a third game, maybe I'll bring in like Flood Rough Waters, but let's see something like this. Hmm. Hand is pretty borderline. The Champion of Ronus is unlikely to give us great value. We'd have to draw like a Sandworm or a Claw Speed, I guess. Um, we'd also have to draw a couple of creatures. We do have an Essence Scatter, which 
helps early. Mm. We do want to hit lands. We have only 16 in the deck. I think we're going to keep. This is definitely pretty borderline, but I think we'll keep here. The opponent had kind of a slow start last game. Okay, Labyrinth Guardian helps. Okay, and we've managed to just not draw lands, so the deck already looks a fair bit better. Alright, drop down Labyrinth Guardian, and have Essence Scatter up next turn. Wow, my opponent, maybe he just had a not great draft, so he's not playing anything here. Maybe he has the Cheetah? Oh, uh, it's not that great. Yeah. Okay. Well, we will scatter anything if he plays it here for sure. Trial of Zeal. Well, I guess we can't actually scatter. Oh, we can censor. Aha. Uh -huh. So, I'll go ahead and get rid of that. It's nice that it doesn't get to combo off with any cartouches he may have had as well. Alright, Crunch with the Guardian. Champion. Let's start dropping creatures next turn. Spidery Grasp. Okay, just killing off the Labyrinth Guardian. Reasonable. The opponent's definitely stuck on lands here. Yeah, we've drawn perfectly. We started with five lands and just have drawn nothing but creatures and spells since. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna exert. We're gonna put Shimmer straight. Shimmer, Scale, Drake on the battlefield, play a Hooded Brawler, and then have Essence Scatter up. I think my opponent's in pretty big trouble at that point. Uh, Drake. Play hooded Brawler. Alright, and counter whatever my opponent has here, and hit him for a lot. Yeah, he's never found another land. It's unfortunate. I think we had a, a pretty good hand. We may have been able to beat just an ordinary draw as well, but certainly going to beat this one. Okay, he's a pawn. It's not the worst thing you could have there. But he's. Facing out a pretty rough board here. Yeah, it looks like my opponent had some pretty rough draws both games. Um, but, it won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, we'll see you guys shortly in the match.